Good day. The odometer from your Mercedes W124 is not working anymore. You'd like to know how to fix it? Well, let's watch that video. In order to repair this, we'll have to remove the dash. If you look at my other video, you will uh, you will see I've, I've got one showing you how to remove it. Okay. Uh, then uh, I've seen on the internet as well some uh, little dented wheels uh, uh, like like this that have been sold for to repair this. Uh. So this kit. Uh, the seller says is for W123, W124, W126, etc. Eh? Um, so anyway, I bought it just in case eh, before to dismantle everything and realize I need that. Uh, so I will now remove it and we'll start dismantling and see what's wrong with it. I now have the part that I want to uh, repair. So what we'll do now, we will remove that middle part. Eh? It's held in three parts. So as you can see, there are uh, some screws uh, all around. So we will remove all of them, uh, this one as well. Uh, this one goes first, uh, then after this, uh, those ones usually fit inside this one. Uh, so usually to remove this middle part, we'll have to remove these as well, okay? Uh, and once we've got it, then we'll try open it and see what's wrong with it and uh, change those uh, little parts. We now have the parts that we want to uh, remove, okay? And we will have to open this. So for this, we've got no other option than to remove this plate. Uh, so for that, uh, what we will do, we will pop the needle out. So try and mark it as best as you can, uh, how, uh, you know, the pressure, for instance, and the pressure that the needle got, um, and also where is it fitted on, on this? Huh? Because uh, when you place it back, if it's not placed like before with the same resistance, uh, then your speed will be wrong. Okay, so I will pop it up now and then remove those two screws and remove the plate to have access to the, to the screws at the back. I've now removed the plate, huh? so we can now remove those four screws. But now I start to look at the parts uh, this guy sold me, huh? uh, except maybe that little wheel that will fit inside, uh, because looking inside, it doesn't look very promising. It looks like this guy sold me something that's not for this, uh, although he claim it is. So anyway, I will continue. Huh? I will remove that. We'll open it and see, uh, and see if at least something can fit in it. Now in the middle here, we've got the little clip, I'm not too sure if you can see it, okay? We have to pop it up, huh? so use a flat screwdriver or something and gently pull it out, okay? It will come out. Once it's out, then we can open it and have access to it. How it works? Well, look, the speedo cable turns here. Here we've got a, a wizard end screw. This one turn makes this turn, this turn, and makes this one turn. Huh? So that's the, the normal uh, kilometers. Uh, then this is linked here to this one, which is, uh, you know, the one that you can reset. Okay. So from what I can see, uh, don't waste your money, although it's cheap, don't waste your money in buying that rubbish, because none of them actually fit here. Uh, so uh, they say it's for W124, W123, W126, well, to do, okay, doesn't work. So anyway, what I'll do now, I'm just gonna uh, check all these to see if there's one broken or something uh, that would make that this uh, doesn't turn, then this I will probably clean it a bit more too. Uh, uh, and so anyway, I will uh, double check all these and see what's up. Okay, so I've been looking a bit at the parts and uh, try to find out where the problem could be. So I remove that needle, I pushed it a bit, uh, I've been able to pull this a little bit and check 
if there was something broken here it's all fine okay um, so now I placed it back and now look I want to turn this so if we look we can clearly see that this wants to turn the last wheel as well and this one as well okay look you see but this one doesn't move so I do like if I want to reset the kilometers okay like so and now and now we see it turn okay so it has to be something stupid okay so I will uh, look at it because here it seems to want to work okay I've now removed this part uh, that was here okay like so so you just push that uh, needle okay and you remove it so now look it works perfectly really perfectly okay so that's kind of uh, strange okay now obviously those ones won't turn because they are not connected to this okay but we can see it works perfectly so uh, that's weird because this is fine as well I can't see any problem with it uh, it's clean it's perfect for so many years uh, so I don't know what I'll do I'll I'm just gonna check I can see a bit of dirt here so I'll clean it I'll mount it back and see what happened I've mounted back again and uh, again it's blocked uh, so the only thing I can think of uh, because if I turn it here by hand and I look at the back uh, uh, I can see it works perfectly well the only thing the only thing I uh, can think about is that maybe it's missing a bit of lubricant eh? so I, I will dismantle it uh, I will clean all the numbers here I'm not sure if you can see it on the side it's like uh, with a screwdriver eh? you just uh, remove it I'm not too sure I'm gonna do that but I'll try uh, dismantle it uh, then I will try to apply some grease or some kind of lubricant uh, and mount it back again and let's see if I'm lucky Okay, it's now removed. So yes, indeed, this is being removed by unscrewing it. Okay, and then I've got here all the wheels huh, with the numbers that I will clean now because it's quite. That should be the original color, and that's quite yellow. Okay, uh, but I look at them and they're perfect. Really, they're perfect. Uh, so uh, what I will do, I will clean them, uh, lubricate, and mount them back again, and fingers crossed. It will work okay I've now cleaned the numbers I've greased it huh, uh, a little bit just be careful when you mount back those numbers and huh, when you screw it don't screw it too tight if not it won't be able to turn okay so now I'm quite happy it turns nicely the yellow I haven't been able to get it back but the the white numbers I'm quite happy with that so it's okay so I'm continuing uh, mounting it and fingers crossed it will work when you're gonna fit it back together make sure that the numbers are aligned of course huh? and uh, if you want to do a job be patient because that's really uh, that's really something so the weird thing is it uh, if I turn it now it doesn't go again just like before but if I go uh, by hand like so it works <laughs> there's nothing to understand so I think what I'm gonna do okay because I see um, the bar that goes inside okay uh, obviously if I turn this and it's spinny it doesn't take that gray one okay uh, then obviously it won't take the others uh, so why it doesn't take it I'm not too sure so I think what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna simply put a little bit of glue on this and that's it game over okay then you will have to take it uh, because it's actually perfect huh? it, all the wheels are perfect everything's perfect it's greased it's cleaned um, something very weird is happening okay um, so I'm not too sure if this is a solution but that will be mine uh, so I will glue it now and mount it back 
Finally, some good news, my friends. Um, it's now working perfectly well. So how did it? I bought some super glue and I fitted it here. Okay, so what I've done, I've pulled this, placed the super glue inside and then closed it in. Okay. So when I closed it in, obviously you don't want the glue to get stuck to everything. Yeah? So what you do, you keep on turning it and turning it and turning it so that the glue doesn't get stuck between this okay now now obviously the glue will go all over the place so after i've used this to clean all the dents and this is perfect with a beautiful v-shape uh, to remove all the excess inside huh? and look at it now it just work perfect you see so you go now that's how you do it okay this is it my friend, I've now uh, fitted all back together, it's perfect, it works beautifully, uh, now fits on the car and that's it, okay. So if you were thinking about buying that nonsense on eBay, Amazon or whatever you can find it, just forget it, okay. Just open it, look at it, very often, it, maybe it's just misaligned uh, or sometimes it can be what I had, okay. Um, I'm telling you again, it's uh, it's a big pain, okay, to do it. So it's not uh, that easy, uh, but it's worth it if you want to have it working, okay? So I hope that you have liked the video and we'll see each other in the next one. See ya.